Hey, I'm back. Uh, I'm on lockdown just like everyone else during this coronavirus thing, so I figured it might be a good time to uh, record some more tutorials. Uh, I've been on a hiatus, as you've probably noticed, mostly because I just don't really know what kinds of tutorials you guys might want to see. It seems like there's so many YouTube channels out there that are covering everything. Um, so having said that, if you like this tutorial and you have ideas for other things that you'd like me to cover, go ahead and comment below and let me know. And in my free time, I'll try and record some more stuff. Uh, this is going to be a real quick, simple one. We're going to create this iRig here. Um, I was working on this yesterday. It should only take five minutes to set up. So let's get into it and make this a, a quick one. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a composition. I'm just making mine square because this was um, meant to be a social media ad. So we'll just call this new eye. Okay. And we're going to make the color of the background just kind of a mid gray just so we can see everything. All right. So first thing we want to do is draw out the shape of the eye using a shape layer. So take the pen tool. I'm just going to make mine real wide like this. I'm only making it this wide just because I don't feel like turning the grid on. So I'm using kind of the safe areas as uh, my reference point so I can make it kind of symmetrical. Actually pull it down a little bit. Okay. So there's your basic eye shape. Now uh, we're going to change this to a white solid. To make it the color of an eyeball here, we're going to add another shape layer. I'm just using my turbo layers script here to add a second shape layer, but uh, any way you want to add that shape layer is fine. So we're going to create the second shape and this is going to be the iris. So make it about that big and make it whatever color you want. Blue, we'll duplicate the ellipse that's in there, make it smaller to make it the pupil. You can get into adding reflections and all that kind of stuff if you want, but I'm not going to do that for now. So let's name these layers. This is going to be iris. This is going to be, I don't know, eye shape. Okay, so now what we want to do is go down to your contents and under the shape in the eye shape, you select path. Now After Effects comes with this uh, script built in. Uh, and it's called Create Nulls from Paths. I have it in my interface here because I use it quite a bit. So what you want to do is select that path and click Points Follow Nulls. Whoops. I'm sorry, you want to select this path. You got to really drill down all the way to the path at the bottom and then click Points Follow Nulls. All right, so now what that gives you is these little controllers here that you can use to open up the eye. So uh, what we want to do then is if we want to create a stroke like in this version here, all we have to do is duplicate that eye shape, move it up to the top, change the fill to none, and give it a stroke. I actually kind of like that pink, so we'll leave it like that. All right, so now we have the eye shape, the nulls, and the iris. We're going to duplicate the eye shape, move it above the iris, and change this to a track mat, so uh, an alpha mat. So now we can grab that iris and move it all around and it'll stay within that eye shape. And then uh, if you wanna add some shading and stuff, you can click on the eye shape at the bottom, go to layer styles, go to you know any of these, but we can use inner shadow here. And pump up the distance and the size bring down the opacity, could maybe give it a little noise if you wanted to. I know that's a popular look right now. So there you go, you have a basic eye rig that you can open, whoops, you can open and close. Move these, uh, can either move the nulls up to the top of the stack or you can lock all these shapes if you want, except for the iris, because you want to be able to move that around. And now you can easily grab these nulls and open and close and you're you know, ready to animate. One other thing that I like to do actually is on the eye shape two, we can rename this just to say stroke, hit control F 
and I believe it's called, is it join? Yeah, so if you hit Control F and search the word join, you can change that to a round join, and that just gets rid of these real sharp uh, corners over here if you don't like that look. So I like the round join, and you are good to go. You can use this for all kinds of stuff. You can make mouth rigs out of it, whatever. That script that's built into After Effects now is super handy. All right, so that's the tutorial. We're closing in on five minutes. All right, see you guys. Thank you.